सभी को नमस्ते गुड मॉर्निंग एंड वेलकम वी आर डूइंग लेक्चर एटीन ऑफ यू एच वी थ्री एंड वी वर टॉकिंग अबाउट द को एग्जिस्टेंस एक्सप्रेसिंग इट सेल्फ इन द फॉर्म ऑफ द फोर ऑर्डर्स ऑफ नेचर एंड दैट वी हैव द एबिलिटी टू बी एबल टू सी दिस डायरेक्टली विथ द अवेकनिंग ऑफ आर हायर एक्टिविटीज so within the self when we awaken to the activities of contemplation understanding and realization we are able to have the clarity of this whole expression of the coexistence till then we may not have clarity we may have in the form of information whatever we are told we may believe or disbelieve or just um go by the thoughts but as we awaken to the higher activities we are able to directly see this for ourselves and then we know that this is how it is that this is the way of the coexistence that every unit in this existence is showing a definiteness a definite innateness or self organization within the unit a definite participation with other units what we refer to as natural characteristic and well defined activities and this is all part of this expression of the coexistence so it is up to us to see that we also understand this coexistence and try to live in coexistence with all the other units just as the other three orders are already doing so we ask you to reflect on whatever your understanding of the coexistence has been so far and try to see your own self organization your own natural characteristic of participation are we able to see our relationship with every unit in nature remember nature doesn't mean only plants and trees but also other human beings everything is included in nature so in our day to day life when we interact with others are we living in with this understanding of relationship of our participation of the innateness can we live in coexistence with others so when we are exploring we are working with our natural acceptance and that is the way to go because the expression of the coexistence is there as a reflection in us in the form of the natural acceptance so it is there in each and every one of us this provision has been made by the coexistence for each one of us to be able to see this natural acceptance refer to it and go by it but we need to refer to it that choice has been given to us if we refer to it then we can slowly awaken to the higher activities if we don't refer to it it just lies dormant unused within us so are we working for that development within and also side by side 
are we able to see that outside also we have a role to play? Are we participating for the higher purpose? Helping in the working of understanding in others? So if anybody has any sharing or any question regarding this much, we'll take it now. We'll take only a couple of sharings perhaps and then we'll move on ahead so that we can cover some more of the content also. Madam, uh, I have been able to uh, refer to my natural acceptance comparatively better than the previous uh, condition. That what I observed. Previously, previously, previously means before, before coming to UHV, mm -hmm. uh, after coming to UHV. Uh, so previously, uh, very less times. I mean to say in the beginning of UHV, I can say. In the beginning of UHV, I was able to, I, I, I was unable to refer to my natural acceptance uh, uh, for uh, uh, most of the time. Here also, now also, no, not most of the time, but comparatively better than at the beginning condition. Mm -hmm. uh, so, what's happening? Many times I am uh, uh, led by preconditioning also, what I am uh, observing. But immediately when I refer to natural acceptance, then I, uh, I am becoming uh, calm like that. I feel very happy. Uh, and uh, with this... Uh, uh, understanding uh, level uh, in the coexistence part also as i shared just with the gross eyes only uh, i am able to see the space not with the set lies i mean to say so you are not able to see uh, this yeah yeah i am unable to see that uh, coexistence the space in the subtle way but with the gross eyes only i am able to see uh, and the uh, innateness uh, Suppose uh, I am getting energy, madam. From where I am getting energy? Oh, uh, this also I feel only. Being uh, submerged in space only, I am energized. So I grow from child to adult and, uh, and to, uh, I become old and then die. That is uh, the natural... Uh, yeah, body dies. Yeah, dies, madam. That uh, I am observing. No, no. You said I die. You die or the I body? I die dies? means uh, the body. Body dies. And ah, later... Uh, difference, yeah, yeah. No? yeah difference. Uh, yeah, what will happen to the consciousness also? You told. I felt happy. Uh, that will continue because uh, it is continuous in time also with respect I to time. Continue. Mm, continue with respect to time. So I will never die. There is no death for uh, my consciousness. That Not I... consciousness. I... I, I, yes, madam. You are saying my consciousness, who is the me? Yeah, yeah. You can that say my body, if you are not the body, you will say my body. Oh, uh, yes, madam. What do you mean by my consciousness? See, this is what I am saying. We, mm -hmm. what we assume, <laughs> it comes mm -hmm. up in our language also. Yeah, really. We say we know, but we don't know. No, no, really. Mm. So, consciousness units are different, no, madam, because uh, I mean to say, uh, that doubt also I asked uh, because suppose if it reaches uh, uh, realization, then all are same. I asked one time, but uh, you say that the quantity is uh, uh, limited now. Maybe it is permanent in time, but the quantity is uh, quantity wise. Why is the consciousness is limited? You told that's why I'm using my consciousness like that. That is the reason. Uh, I don't understand. My uh, con consciousness means I am saying I am something else. And consciousness is something else. No, no, madam. I, I don't. I. If we mm. say I, but mm. we as you see, we put I club it for body also. This is what I'm saying. We have to have that clarity, keep the two separate. Mm -hmm. Because otherwise we mix up the two. Mm -hmm. It's a very strong assumption. It is mm. still there and it will keep interfering in our thought process. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because it will keep coming up. Mm, really, okay. really. Even though the consciousness is limited, in this uh, birth it is me, mine, but... Uh, limited in what way? Limited in uh, quantity, no, madam, you told. What is quantity? Limited in size, we say. Size, size, yeah, I meant to say. Size. So, uh, that I observed, madam. You can't quantify it. 
yeah yeah size only yeah so and uh, for others uh, very little i am trying madam because uh, in my family i am trying uh, my level best uh, outside uh, uh, others uh, uh, the development of uh, uh, this understanding means uh, only in uh, human beings na madam mm -hmm. so understanding development uh, i try uh, a little uh, whenever i go to class whenever i come across uh, with my colleagues when i may come across generally in the, from the beginning i have been doing but in different way when i come to this uhv in terms of uh, the clear cut uh, uh, definite uh, uh, lines uh, what i have understood in that way i am trying uh, to increase uh, others competence after increasing my competence also mm -hmm. because uh, uh, understanding theory is different from experiencing now madam that's why what i clearly observe it but once you understand then we can uh, uh, try our level best uh, with clarity uh, and we get uh, experience that i have been doing madam this is my observation from the beginning nice. uh, this is my reflection to your yesterday's assignment madam okay nice thank you thank okay. you madam so yesterday we were looking at the self and you can see this chart in front of you with the higher activities of the self so in the self what we said is the self is one whole unit i the self am one whole unit what is being said is there is no partition we have for the purpose of understanding split it into b2 and b1 block but there is no separate two units it is one whole unit which doesn't get divided so within myself i am awakened to the lower activities and i may have yet to awaken to the higher activities but the potential to awaken to the higher activities is there in each one of us so here you can see that once we awaken to the activity of realization we have clarity of the coexistence in this existence we have clarity of or we can directly see the units submerged in space that will happen when we are awakened to the activity of realization we can open up the next part when we awaken to the activity of understanding we have clarity of harmony in the nature being able to see the self organization or the innateness of every unit in nature including myself including the body including every single unit in nature i am able to see the innateness the self organization i have clarity about that with this awakening to the activity of understand and the first one generally that we awaken to that is the activity of contemplation with that i have clarity of the relationship my relationship with every other unit and i have clarity about my natural characteristic my participation in the larger order my role in this coexistence how i can participate with the other units so this is all possible within us if we are able to awaken to the higher activities and the potential is there the choice is also ours if we pay attention to it if we see it as a priority in our life then we work towards it if we are not yet ready for it we spend more time outwards and we pay more attention to say sensory pleasures or 
trying to get the feeling from others and so on. Now, if we are doing that and we are getting restless, that I want to get there, I want to be able to awaken to the higher activities, this is a reaction. This means that we are just going on in our thoughts that I want to get there. It is an expectation, like this should happen for me. But I am not making effort. So if I really want to be able to awaken to the higher activities, I have to make that effort for myself. And each one of us can do that. Uh, what I uh, could be able to understand is if we uh, see the reality or realize the reality, then we are able to uh, whatever our object uh, that is our purpose uh, to fulfill our life and happiness. So we can uh, reach that uh, level. Uh, that, uh, what, uh, that means uh, that is a natural acceptance. Uh, uh, our mind should be in a position to understand what is naturally acceptable. Am I correct, Didi? See, natural acceptance you can see even now. Yeah. But uh, uh, while coming into the practice... To it. You have to pay attention to it, refer to it. Yeah. Yeah. So everybody able to uh, refer natural acceptance, whether he is able to uh, act accordingly or not. Am I correct? Yeah, everybody can refer to the natural acceptance. That choice has been given to us. Yeah. So if I pay attention to it, I can see it. I yeah. can refer to it. But if I am busy looking outside, obviously I cannot you know, see my natural acceptance. That choice has been given to me. So yeah. I need to you know, take my attention inside and yeah. refer to my natural acceptance. When I ask the question, I get the spontaneous answer from the natural acceptance. But yeah. I need to be able to pay attention. Yeah. That choice is there with me. Otherwise, the natural acceptance is there, it will just lie dormant. Yeah. It? But, uh, yeah. While uh, coming to the uh, real, uh, uh, practical, in real, in practical situation, uh, mm -hmm. I have a small experience. I, uh, shall I just uh, correlate with that and uh, I am incorrect or not? I would, would like to check that. Shall I? We can narrate do that? Yeah. So I uh, booked some auto and uh, that uh, auto person uh, 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 without uh, my, uh, without intubating me, he cancelled the ride and uh, picking me up and cancelled the ride. Then mm -hmm. uh, I realized after some time while uh, uh, during the journey. So I kept quiet and uh, once I reached the destination, uh, then uh, I found that uh, the, uh, uh, that is Wala uh, auto. So I found that uh, there is a message that uh, because of cancellation, I will be fined uh, uh, so and so, some amount. So then uh, what I did is uh, I am observing all this myself. I feel I am observing. So I, uh, I cut, the, cut, the, cut that uh, amount and the remaining amount I, uh, I given to auto one. So, but uh, he is arguing, uh, uh, give the amount and uh, I did not do that. At that moment, uh, what should I do as uh, if we refer to natural acceptance, what is my uh, uh, <laughs> action should be? Natural acceptance will not give you answers to your behavior. Natural yeah. acceptance will give you answer if you ask why and what is the purpose. Yeah, I have asked out a, a person. Uh, no, no, why no. Did you, why, uh, why did you do this? Yeah, I have what asked. What's the purpose? Yeah. No, I you. Asked I'm asking you. Yeah. Why uh, did you do this? What was uh, the purpose? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, because he, uh, without uh, my uh, 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 intimating me, he did that. Some wrong, even though it is not his intention, because of some uh, gain he did. So, see that also uh, we are assuming no that he wanted to gain. Perhaps it was a mistake because he did that. Uh, 
that is obvious true na uh, what have we done we have put physical facility before relationship we yeah. have not even discussed with him we have just decided this yeah i have asked why, why did you do that you not do that why did you do that he is not giving answer even even he says uh, politely because see, of so much happening things, you know we have to try to see how much difference will it make do we have enough do we feel prosperous yes Yes, 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 yes. If I don't feel prosperous, yes, I will argue. I will fight about every small amount. But yeah, if I, I feel prosperous, I will think, okay, certainly I don't want to get cheated by others. But yeah. it could have been an honest mistake. It could have been, yeah. you know, some misinterpretation. Something may have gone wrong. Yeah. But uh, what, how you know, that person, other person, uh, how he because he may treat others also like this. Uh, keep on. Yeah. See, you have a choice. Either till now this is bothering you, something is disturbing you. Yeah. But if you were able to see the relationship, no. Ah, uh, yeah. Then this small amount may not have made that much difference to you. perhaps it might make for me, for, for me no difference at all if he says politely exactly. because of my gain then i will give double the amount of that he want to give what i am saying huh? so at this moment what i have done i have put physical facility before relationship yeah okay isn't it but yeah. when we talk of um you know what is required for us we talk yeah. of three things right understanding yes. relationship and physical facility in that Correct. order correct here we have reversed that order can you see that yeah and Correct. we can also see that we are not feeling prosperous otherwise we won't be arguing about that small amount yeah but uh, mm-hmm. uh, people will be cheated like me so that is uh, also thing we need to think but of then we can work on understanding no so that everybody has better understanding and people don't misuse why why is even if he is cheating why is he doing it because yeah, that... he think he is he will have happiness more happiness perhaps if he gets little yes. extra money yes. no? so yeah. he is giving importance to physical facility yes yes correct we are also doing the same thing yes Isn't yes it? yes so how are we different from what he is doing yes yes so if we question our natural acceptance we'll be able to see what is important for us what is yes. important for us is relationship harmony coexistence yes If we yes. are not able to get this with this small incident. We can see that it is disturbing us. We are not in harmony. Yeah, we have not been able to see the relationship. Yeah, but yeah. what is the what is the ultimate solution? I need to do in at that moment. I am unable to understand. That's why. I would. Yeah. So I, if I pay attention early on only, I'll be able to see this, and yes. I don't have to take that ride. I can cancel. i can say that it's already cancelled and uh, whatever and choose to go with somebody else that choice i have isn't it but i, I have not observed uh, at that moment after that's after what i'm journey. saying that's what i'm saying so some some um, uh, something from our side also isn't it yeah. anyway you can reflect on it i think we need yeah. not discuss this further yes, yes. but okay yes, yes. Okay. That's choice we yes. keep making every day. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Sir. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So if we go a little further, we can go to the next slide. Yeah. So you see, um, if we get to the right understanding. if we get to awakening to not if i should say when we awaken to the activity of right understand of uh, realization then we will be able to see the coexistence the way it already is we will see that all the units are submerged in space and we will see the expression in the form of these activities of the units the innateness of the units the natural characteristic in the four orders 
how they are all participating. So we will look into that now. Yes, you can go to the next slide. Yeah. So we've already been through this, so we'll go a little faster, but um, just for completeness and um, it will be a brief recap. So if we look at the coexistence expressing itself in the physical order, so in the physical order, by virtue of the submergence, there is some interaction. It's not a random interaction. There is very definite interaction between the units. The innateness of the physical order is, you know, it exists in a very definite manner. So you have the air, you have the water, you have the soil. It is existing. It doesn't randomly, something doesn't, you know, change in a bizarre way. You, you find the rocks are the same. They don't you know, suddenly change. The soil, the air, the water, they all exist. That is their something innate to them in a very self-organized, orderly manner. If you look at their natural characteristic, their participation, within them, these activities are going on. There is some formation, there is some deformation, some, you know, composition, some decomposition. Things are getting composed, you know, the molecules, the atoms, the subatomic particles, they are coming together to form the atoms, the atoms are coming together to form the molecules. That composition, that activity is going on. And then, there are other activities where these are breaking down. Decomposition is also happening. So with the result, you see formation, deformation. And the inheritance or this continuation of this generation after generation is possible in the same manner if the constitution remains unaltered. If we alter the constitution, then this definiteness may not remain. But as long as the constitution is the same, this definiteness is maintained. Next slide. If you look at the bio order, in the bio order, with the, you know, by virtue of the submergence, of the coexistence, the bio order, there is some interaction, there is also pulsation, activity of, or you know, this, uh, you see the pulsation in all the bio orders, some movements from here to there, you know. What is innate to the bio order? It doesn't just exist, it also grows. You see the change in the form, the change in the size. This you are able to experience by seeing through the gross eyes. So you are able to you know, relate to it. So the growth is there in the bio order. And the natural characteristic or its participation, of course, the formation, deformation is going on, but along with that, there is this, it, it uh, can nurture or worsen. So like we spoke of the spinach plant, it nurtures the other unit, the human body. But a plant like Dhatura, it harms the body. This kind of definiteness doesn't change. It's not that today something different will happen, tomorrow something else random may happen. It's always like this, that definiteness is there. In the activities, we said composition, decomposition is there, plus respiration. Now something more is happening in the plants. They are taking in, in the daytime, they are taking in carbon dioxide and they are giving out oxygen. 
and this is something that is happening in all plants whatever plant you see whatever tree you see whatever shrub you see you will see this happening when we talk of you know the how it is maintained generation after generation we will see that it is by virtue of the seed it is based on the seed so if the seed is maintained this definiteness you will see in all plants generation after generation but if we tamper with the seeds if we interfere with the seeds if we change the seed then this definiteness may not be maintained there may be um a change in the activity or the change in the you know you may not see some of the definiteness that you were able to see earlier like we gave the example of seeds of papaya trees or seeds of any tree for that matter that is why this drive to save the the traditional the original seeds because as we do more and more and more of hybridization and changing the seed somewhere we may be losing out so there used to be so many so many 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 varieties of rice today we don't see even half as many because somewhere the tree the seed has been messed with so but if we preserve the seed then we can continue to have that definiteness throughout generation after generation ma'am this uh, um nurturing version property is uh, participation is there for physical uh, order also no if we inhale oxygen it will nurture us in if we inhale carbon monoxide it will uh, worsen our health see this is the definiteness in the um, it in the physical order that the it is in a certain way of course it will participate with every other unit in a definite manner so you can say that there is this is how it is means there is definite recognition and fulfillment but the oxygen when it is being taken up by the body it is being utilized for these processes but it is not itself becoming worsened like that there is a definite participation there is for every unit in this existence you will find every order there is a definite recognition and fulfillment except if you see the human order in the human order this recognition and fulfillment will keep changing based on you know whatever our assumption is if we assume something um which is not in line with the way it is in the existence then our recognition and fulfillment may change so that definiteness will not be there but in the physical order in the bio order in the animal order in all of them you will find that there is definiteness in the recognition and fulfillment in the animal order how it happens is that the animal order is so identified with the body that it is seeing itself as the body and therefore again the recognition and fulfillment becomes definite because it has assumed itself to be the body there is no confusion only in the human being that confusion comes that indefiniteness comes when we see ourselves on the one hand that strong assumption that i am the body on the other hand now the feeling is becoming more prominent in me so now i am not able to uh, you know be satisfied just by this assumption that i am body because now 
I need to be happy and I want that happiness in continuity and I'm not able to get it through the body. Therefore, that confusion, therefore, that indefiniteness. So ultimately, we also need to come in line with all these other things. We go further also when we, um, uh, you know, um, as we go further, we are going to be discussing this in little more detail again. Okay. Yeah. Ma'am, in the physical order uh, uh, regarding that uh, submergence, uh, that interaction, uh, we can see that interaction between that one unit with the other. So it is only uh, restricted to that uh, physical material like a metal, air, uh, like a uh, physical order material only, or with that uh, uh, the units like a uh, water, it is coming under physical order and the uh, plants in the bio order, uh, plants uh, absorb that water through the root. That is also an interaction. Mm -hmm. uh, means like uh, like a interaction between that uh, uh, two unit in the only the physical order or interaction no, no, between no. the... Interaction uh, with all the units. All the units, yeah. yeah. So me, uh, yeah, we are definite also... Manner. In a definite manner, means I drink that water. That is the human mm -hmm. order, uh, unit body drink the water. So there is an interaction between the water one unit. When you say body. body, when you say body, the body is part of the bio order. That is not yeah. coming under the. You know, yeah, yeah. If, you are, if you are looking at the body, because in the human order you have now two parts. You have the body mm -hmm. and the cell. Mm -hmm. So when you're talking of the interaction of the water with the body, then this is mm -hmm. the body is coming under the bio order. Bio order. Uh, yeah. So the interaction not only with the physical and physical, physical with bio, physical with yeah, yeah. the... All uh, the units. All the units. Yeah. Uh, um, ma ma so see, an all these other... orders, if you see uh, the units, they are all submerged in space. There is a coexistence. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. every unit can interact with every other unit. Isn't mm -hmm. it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, ma'am. In another, like uh, in the bio plants, so you have mentioned that uh, uh, submergence is the pulsation. Uh, regarding that uh, little bit information, I need uh, to understand that. Yeah. So, like for instance, in the bio order, we are saying not only there's just interaction, there is also a certain pulsation going on. So, pulse, you know how in the human body also we talk of pulse, no? What is that pulsation? So, human body again, it is part of the bio order. So, you can take the example of the human body, it will be easy to see, no? So, in the human body, when there is circulation and all of this, how there is some pulsation happening. Can you see that? Mm. Yeah. In the human body, if mm. you, uh, you know, routinely in medical, this thing, uh, we go to the doctor, the doctor check it, checks the pulse. Mm. Yeah. So some some movement is there in the arteries, in the veins, mm -hmm. and it it is coming like a um, not just a just a flow, a continuous flow, but in pulses, movement is happening. Mm -hmm. Can you appreciate that? Mm -hmm. If you just mm -hmm. you know put your finger on your um, right on the um, say, you know, towards the thumb end, on the inside of your wrist, you will feel that pulse in you. Mm -hmm. So like that, there is pulsation in the bio order. There is movement of, see, the bio order, it is interacting with the soil. It is taking up whatever it needs. Mm -hmm. How is it taking it up? Of course, recognition and fulfillment is there. Therefore, it is taking up whatever it needs, and then it is going to all the different parts of the tree. 
the branches mm-hmm. the leaves wherever it is required mm-hmm. so this pulsation is there this is an advancement from the physical order in the physical order you don't see this pulsation but in the bio order you will see it so every unit of the bio order you will see this pulsation is there does it answer your question yeah ma'am i understood ma'am thank you thank you thank you so if you look at this we already talked of the bio order we can go to the next um order so if you look at the animal order now in the animal order you have two units isn't it you have the bio order, you have the body which is similar to the bio order what we just discussed and you have the self now in the self by virtue of the submergence this uh, animal self has sensitivity toward the um sense organs of the body so through the sense organs of the body it has sensitivity the eye the self has sensitivity toward these um sound touch sight taste smell so with this now it identifies with this it identifies with the body and you see that it is sensitive to this so it pays attention to these uh through the sense organs of the body what is innate to the self of the animal is it has a will to live because it has assumed itself to be the body it identifies itself as the body now it wants the body to continue so when it has a will to live it is relating it to the body that as long as the body lives it lives this is its assumption strong assumption and it cannot come out of it this is a assumption it doesn't have a choice to not be able to assume this so it continues with this therefore its you know recognition and fulfillment is definite because this assumption is very definite if you look at the participation with other units you find that um some animals are seemingly you know very calm very content or comfortable but then there are others which are very aggressive dominating so we classify them as cruel or non cruel but again this term cruel it is a our interpretation that it is something cruel but essentially you can see the change the difference in the behavior in different types of animals this is also well defined suddenly the cows don't become aggressive ferocious and start attacking animal other animals and so on if you look at the activity that is going on within the self you find that the animal is only awakened to this selecting tasting nothing more no other higher activities it is awakened to largely it is awakened only to selecting tasting and if you look at the inheritance of this how it happens generation after generation it is according to the breed so if the breed is maintained this kind of um pattern you will see generation after generation there will be definiteness in these characteristics these aspects will not suddenly change as long as the breed is maintained and we talked of you know breed difference in breed in animals and so on 
So as long as we don't interfere with the breed, we can go to the human order. Can we go to the next? Next slide. Next slide. Yeah. So here you can see in the human order again. If you look at the body, the body comes under the bio order, so it has the same kind of characteristics. Uh, very definite, you know, the submergence by virtue of submergence, interaction is there, pulsation is there, that we discussed. There is a very definite self-organization. You see in the body, there are many trillions of cells. They are organized in a very definite manner. And they are all working their own um, role is very definite. Plus, they interact with the other cells in a very well-defined, definite manner. So there is a definite participation for, you know, in favor of the larger order. And of course, there is growth. This nurturing, worsening characteristic, you see, we already talked of that, the plant order. And if you see the um, self of the human being, now in the self, yes, there is sensitivity towards those same sense organs that we saw in the animal order, sensitivity to sound, touch, sight, taste, smell. But here, the feelings are also becoming prominent. So here, now, there is not only this sensitivity in I, but there is also importance of feelings. So you can see that the self is becoming um, is having some higher activity, is getting a little more evolved. And you can see that it has a need to know. It also has the potential for knowing. It needs to have happiness. So, now, on the one hand, it is assuming itself to be body. But on the other hand, it also wants happiness, which it can't get through the body. And it has a choice. So as long as it assumes something which is not true, it may be making the wrong choices, the human self. So the choices we make, the recognition and fulfillment in our behavior depends on our assumption. And it is not definite because the assumption changes, our choice also changes. But when you come to the um, when you come to knowing, when you come to being able to see the reality the way it is, for which we all have the potential, the human self has this potential, then this um, recognition and fulfillment can become definite. Therefore, our behavior becomes definite. So that possibility is there when we have the right understanding, when we are able to see the reality the way it is, when we awaken to these higher activities for which we all have the potential. So that is the task to do. That is what needs to be done. Ultimately, we can get to understanding and have these, you know, um, feelings of kindness, generosity, you know, perseverance, bravery. We work for the understanding. We help others to understand and be in harmony. So we can participate in that in the rightful manner. Yes. Next slide. There is a hand raised, but I think we'll go ahead and then come back to the raised hand. Uh, next slide. Yeah. So in this chart, you can see the whole, you know, all the 
orders put together and you can see what our role is how we can um we do want to live with continuous happiness we do have the need to know we just have to make a little effort pay attention inside pay attention to our natural acceptance and we can be with that continuous happiness being able to see the reality exactly the way it is so that we know that's how it is that possibility is there and with that as a natural unfolding we have these feelings of kindness generosity compassion love and we share with others we participate in the larger order now the inheritance for this is by human education and sanskar remember in animals we talked of breed but in human beings what we would say is the genetics there you can see that uh, to some extent in the body you may be able to see some of the impact but in the self whatever you see in terms of this carrying forward generation after generation it is through human education and sanskar because you can see that even in the same family supposing there are twins in the family now you can say that genetic material may be similar the environment they grow up in is similar and yet they may be having different sanskars so this you know if we provide the right education with uh, this possibility of knowing in all of us all human beings at least if this opportunity is given to all then you can have more and more human beings being evolved understanding and then they can carry this forward generation after generation so that there can be this um continuation like a tradition human tradition so that possibility is there yes we can take a quick question uh, madam uh, a very few seconds madam i think uh, 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 just uh, to lata madam's uh, question i think uh, the pranic order nurture once and means it is becoming nurtured and becoming worsened madam i think kindly look into that it is not nurturing and worsening i think becoming nurtured and becoming worsened then i think it answers see if you see human body is already part of that bio order how oh, madam madam isn't it madam so in the bio order when the interaction happens ha oh, madam this definiteness is there yeah so the plant say there is uh, whatever plant now it is nurturing the body that is happening in a very well defined manner madam if there is a plant that worsens or harms the body that is also happening in a very definite manner yes the madam. other way you can see it is that when you consume that plant yeah 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 madam the plant itself you can say gets worsened but it nurtures the body yeah madam no it gets disintegrated or ah yes madam but it um, it nurtures the body ah uh, no i mean so that... <coughs> i am very sorry to inter interfere suppose if we pour water uh, the plants have become nurtured suppose if you don't it will uh, don't pour water they become worsened it it's not that character is not we cannot see in physical bodies na no? only formation deformation i think it means see the physical order is not just interacting with the physical order the physical order is interacting with various other units ha ah, madam yes madam so if you say like in, like we were taking the example of a dew drop na ah, madam the dew falls on the trees the plants mm -hmm. now you can see it as this dew drop disintegrates 
Hmm. No. Yes, madam. But it has nurtured the plant. Yes. No. So, like this, you will see in the interaction with every unit. Now, when it comes to the bio order. Yeah. Yes, madam. This yes. part you will see. Yeah, madam. J. Thank you. Thank you, madam. Okay, uh, so with this, I think we come to the end of this chapter, this lecture. Uh, Didi, uh, uh, just you show me the uh, the earlier slide. The um, Didi, I am actually confused in the submergent. Uh, this this part uh, submergent. Submergence by that word, I used to understand earlier that, uh, say in the space, we we are there. Say um, all the all the units are there, and there is a relationship between that. They are um, uh, though independent, but they are also interactive. Okay, they have their definite role to play. Uh, mm -hmm. They are playing. So submergence means like I used to think they are dissolved. Like means. In a particular place or in the space, for example, all are all are there. They are playing their no, own role. No, not ah. Submergence just means, you know, like how if you take a bucket of water, ha, you ha. put something inside the water. So ha. now you see it is submerged in the water. Correct, correct, correct. Ha, you you ha. Submarine, submarine is submerged in the water. Yeah. So I used to think that way, but now Didi, I am getting confused here. This uh, that uh, uh, what is written that say interaction uh, for the physical order, plants the pulsation. So that uh, I am getting, I am not uh, getting clarity actually. I am not uh, actually. I know of the submergence. They have ah. these characteristics. Acha acha acha. Being in submergence. Acha. Being in that coexistence, uh -huh. these units have these characteristics. Okay, okay. And because these characteristics are a little bit different from one another, so we have uh -huh. classified them into the four orders uh -huh. for ease of understanding. Acha. Okay. Uh -huh. Yes, Didi. I understand. Thank you, Didi. Thank you. So we can um, reflect on this what we spoke of. Maybe you can open the um, next slide, but this we already did. Yes. So you can explore as to what is your innate desire, your basic aspiration. And also check whether this desire is fulfilled by right understanding or otherwise. That is basis of your self-organization is right understanding or otherwise. And check whether these natural characteristics and innateness of you are natural expressions of your realization of coexistence of self in space. Now, this may be a little heavy to try to do, but I think the important task to see is, are we making effort in the right direction? Or are we getting lost in the sensitivity or the sense organs of the body and trying to get feeling from others from outside? This is the main thing that we have to try to work for. So we'll reflect on this and we'll take it up, take up the reflections tomorrow and then go forward to the next lecture.